Hello everybody, my name is Kidlot and welcome back to the next installment of the Pavlo with Every Gun Show series. Well, I will be getting a Pavlo with every single gun in the game. And this time we're going to the ARs part 2, the second half of the ARs. There's a lot of them, so I wanted to split them in half. Here's the second one, the second batch of them. I hope you enjoy this. Again, it's just for fun. Get the Pavlo as fast as I can, try hard it. Anyways, let's start with the next gun right now. The G36C makes a return to the Call of Duty franchise. It was first seen in Call of Duty 4, absent in Modern Warfare 2, and back here finally in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. The G36C is a great weapon. The damage is pretty good even at range and the recoil is very, very manageable. Full auto is no problem. It will go always to your intended target. However, it jets up a little bit, just a little bit in the recoil, but that's okay because that is easily handled by pointing down with your Wii Remote. If you're using the Wii Remote or if you're using the CCP, go ahead and push down a little bit on the control stick again. The recoil is very manageable, making this weapon very good and easy to use. However, on the other hand the iron sights are actually not that great they're huge they're blocky they're obstructive and it limits peripheral vision a lot i really don't like this so i usually replace the iron sights with either a red dot sight or a holographic sight this is usually good to clear things up a bit and it makes the weapon even easier to use in terms of attachments and proficiencies i would always use a two attachments proficiency because the g36c has a lot to use in terms of attachments and again i like to replace the iron sights with a red dot sight so I usually go around with a red dot sight, silencer, and extended mags. Again, you can choose whatever you want. If you don't mind being on the radar, go ahead and skip the silencer. If you're actually okay with the iron sights, there are no problems to you. Go ahead and skip the red dot sight. And if you don't need the extended mags, you can go ahead and put both red dot sight and silencer. Again, it is your choice. But all in all, the G36C has come a long way since Call of Duty 4. It was absent in Modern Warfare 2, but it does deserve its glorious spot here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Like I said, I like the guns a lot if I have them gold and the G36C, another very good assault rifle to use in this category. Do not underestimate it. It will tear some heads apart. Now we go to my absolute favorite weapon in this game. I'm talking about the ACR 6.8. You guys already know this story, man. This weapon is a boss, a complete boss. It was a boss in Modern Warfare 2, and it still is in this game. And one of the main reasons for this is because of the recoil, man. This thing shoots like a laser beam. Even at long ranges, making battles at far range very easy to do. And also the iron sights help a lot in this because they are clear beautiful open they remind me of the iron sights uh, in black ops of the commando remember that weapon the commando gun that was also a very good weapon in that game but last but not least is the power man sheesh this gun does amazing damage even at far ranges so all in all you have an all-in-one weapon you have a weapon that has range damage low recoil iron sights man this thing is an all-in-one package and that's why it is my favorite weapon in the game and also i like to stick with a silencer plus extended mags that is my bread and butter because if you think about it you already get an all-in-one weapon but if you slap on a silencer you're off the radar and then extended mags gives you even more ammo i mean come on dude this good <laughs> this gun is is, is one of the best guns in the game, definitely. I tear heads apart with this. I get so many good gameplays, so many fond memories, so many MOABs. I love this weapon a lot. And if you didn't know already, a little fun fact, the ACR 6.8, the 6.8 in the name refers to the caliber of the weapon. So I guess this weapon is a different one than, or a different model than the one in Modern Warfare 2, if you guys didn't know that already. And also this gun looks green. It has a different metallic finish than all the other ones. So every time I run around the map and I see somebody holding an ACR, I'm like, dude, is that a camo? Was that a green? camo on a gun you know what i mean but then i forget that the acr looks different than all the other guns making it even more unique and even better than all the other guns in the game so all in all the acr 6.8 beast gun my favorite gun in this game you probably know this as well it's also like an i think it might be an mlg standard if you're going to use an assault rifle like if you're doing game battles or something i bet this gun shows its face a lot in the matches but anyways like i said acr 6.8 my absolute favorite weapon in this game
The MK-14 is the only semi-automatic assault rifle in the game. Now this weapon is actually really good and maybe even a little overpowered when you compare it to the other semi-automatic assault rifles in previous Call of Duties. The MK-14 in this game has almost no recoil while the M14 in COD 4 and the M14 in Black Ops had a ton of recoil if you spammed your trigger finger really fast. Another big difference is that the MK-14 in Modern Warfare 3 has insane damage, that of a sniper rifle, 75 damage at its peak damage while the previous versions only did 50 damage now you may ask you know okay it's still going to be a two hit kill in most situations but here is where things make a whole lot of difference if you get a headshot with the mk-14 it's most likely going to be a one hit one kill because again it's like a sniper rifle that extra damage multiplier will go over 100 damage and that will kill your opponent another thing is that if your opponent is already nicked maybe they got a, a bullet wound or something like that just a little bit of damage the mk-14 is a good uh, weapon to finish them off and that will be a one hit kill very very likely now this is where things get really insane if you put rapid fire and extended mags on your mk14 because rapid fire lifts the firing cap to a higher level which means that you can fire this weapon really fast again also with no recoil and then with high damage of that of a sniper rifle you can totally obliterate the opponent they won't know what's coming to them and that is why some people think this weapon is overpowered mostly because of the low recoil and then the insane damage of a sniper rifle and then you couple all these other things together with attachments and all that stuff, it can really tear heads apart. And it really is a force to be reckoned with in the battlefield. So watch out. That's why some people actually think this weapon is a lot better than the automatic assault rifles in the game just because of its sheer power. And so whether you, you, whether you think this weapon is overpowered or not, that is definitely up to you. But again, this weapon definitely got a buff from the previous semi-automatic rifles in previous Call of Duties. And it is a force to be reckoned with in the battlefield. The AK-47 has pretty much been a staple in the Call of Duty franchise. We had the AK-47 in COD 4, the AK-47 in Modern Warfare 2, it was seen in Black Ops, and finally it makes a return in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. The model for the AK-47 in Modern Warfare 3 is a modernized version just like it was in Modern Warfare 2 rather than the older looking ones in COD 4 and Black Ops. The AK-47 has always been a strong and versatile weapon and a popular choice among players playing Call of Duty and the Modern Warfare 3 version definitely lives up to this expectation. The recoil is okay, it does jut upward a little bit, but it isn't that bad to control. The power is decently good as well, up to a medium range, granting that expected 3 hit kill. And that is why also a lot of people like to use silencers, because the damage reduction isn't all that bad, and it's always nice to stay off the radar. A nice thing also about the AK-47 is its iron sights. They are nice, they are open, and they are direct, just like how it was in COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2, but I still sometimes occasionally find myself putting a red dot sight for an even clearer picture on the battlefield but again this is not necessary because the iron sights are already great and with these iron sights again it opens up attachment selection variety you don't actually have to put an optic on this weapon because it really doesn't need to you can opt for an extended mag silencer under barrel shotgun under barrel grenade launcher anything that you want literally uh, it's up to your choice obviously but all in all the AK-47 definitely lives up to its predecessors and it is a serviceable gun to use in modern warfare for three. A little fun fact if you didn't know already, this is I think my third overall gold gun that I got in the game. The first one was a sniper rifle because I like sniping. It was the L118A. The second one is going to be the ACR because again that's my most uh, favorite gun of the game. But then it was actually the AK-47 because I remember the glory days of COD 4. Everybody used that weapon but again that's why I wanted to live in the glory days. And it does it does, uh, it does remind me of the, uh, the COD 4 uh, weapon a lot. So it's a good gun all in all. Very good gun to use. And a favorite among all Definitely. The fad, the fad, the fad. The fad is a very weird gun. Just completely, it's just a completely weird gun from the way it looks to the way it reloads. It is very different than all the other weapons in the game, so let's discuss them here. First of all, the FAD has a very weird looking iron sight. It's a large hoop with a very thin post in the middle, and also the gun shape is very different. It strays away from the conventional looking guns. It's fat, it's bulky, it's weird shape. You guys know what I mean. And also, too, you actually reload this gun in a 45 degree angle, which is just totally awkward. And even the features that affect the game mechanics are weird. For example, 
couple. The FAD shoots fast, almost as fast as an SMG at 1,000 RPM, faster than any other assault rifle in the game. But even weirder than that is that it has low recoil. You would think that something that fires so fast has a lot of recoil, but actually it doesn't. This weapon has very little recoil. But again, that is offset by the damage because the FAD usually takes four bullets to the body for a kill. But then again, even weirder than that, it only takes two hits to the head because of that weird 1.7 headshot multiplier. This gun has 40 bullets rather than the usual 30 of an assault rifle, but it also reloads very, very slow, making sleight of hand a very nice thing to use. But last but not least, the FAD zooms into ADS faster than all other assault rifles at 0.25 seconds rather than the usual 0.30 seconds. So wow, this gun is very, very weird, but surprisingly, again, believe it or not, it's actually pretty good and fun to use because of the low recoil and the naturally large magazine. It contributes to its good factors of it being a viable option on the battlefield. I like to use extended mags, silencer, and sleight of hand. It combines all the great things I usually like from attachments with the awesomeness of this gun. The awesome things like low recoil and large magazine and all that stuff. So again, it is a weird gun, but then if you think about it, all these weird factors contributed to making it different and actually pretty good. And actually, it's awesome. It might actually be a cool gun to use. You know what I mean? All these different things about it make the fad cool. Definitely use it. It definitely actually deserves its spot as the classified last weapon to unlock in the game for the assault rifles, definitely. And that is the end of this video. It ends the second part of the assault rifles and the next episode will feature the SMGs. I hope you guys liked it. And again, please like and favorite the video as it helps improve my YouTube network. As always, my name is Kidlot and sayonara until the next time, guys.